the animation process. Firstly, you'll design the idea, the character's personality and life, and the main objective of the character. Have a clear idea of how the character moves and reacts to things, and how they feel throughout the animation. Also, your animations will be much more interesting if you create obstacles for the characters to get what they want, whether they are emotional obstacles, psychological obstacles or physical obstacles. Therefore showing to the audience the different sides of the personality, making the audience emotionally involved in your animation. Try to think of a peculiarity for your characters to make them more unique and if possible, some secondary actions. Then you'll proceed to record a ton of references exploring different ways of portraying your idea, striving to feel how the characters feel, knowing how they move, and why they do what they do. Once you have chosen your favorite reference or references, it's time to set up your scene, find all the props and rigs that you'll use, bring your reference to the scene, place an order in the character where the animation is going to start, and set up the main camera accordingly. And don't forget the rule of thirds! Now identify the golden poses, the few poses that tell all the story, just by themselves. and create them, spending a lot of time making sure that they convey the emotions very intensively. As with all the new poses you create, make sure that the silhouette is clean. If possible, having a more busy side and a simple side. Make sure that they have a defined and fluid line of action. Exaggerating it more if you want to convey weight and strength. Avoid symmetrical poses and make sure that the characters are in balance. Now get some feedback and finish creating the main poses, which will define all the main actions of the animation. This is the perfect moment to make sure you are creating variation in the timing with poses and making sure the movements take different amount of frames to complete. Get some more feedback and congrats, your blocking would be ready to show to your animation supervisor or director. Now the fun begins, now is when we'll design the movements. Firstly, try to create interesting breakdowns, so that instead of a mere transition, they help to convey the personality and emotions of the characters. Make sure everything moves on arcs. That you create all the necessary anticipations that the different parts of the body transition to poses at different frames, that some parts drag back more than others, and overlapping all the joints to make sure they don't move as one piece. In this phase, make sure we can already perceive the weight of the character, and exaggerate upon the movements of the hips if necessary. In this phase, not only we'll make sure that all the different parts of the body move and rotate coherently between each other, but we'll also make sure to define how all the movements begin and end by creating poses that define the slow-ins, slow-outs, fast-ins, fast-outs, and overshoots. So that every single important detail is in your blocking plus. Now is another great time to make sure you're creating enough contrast on the timing and spacing, as once you switch to splines or bezier, it will be much harder to make those kinds of adjustments. So check if you can exaggerate the speed of any movement, or even create longer poses. Ok great, your animation is ready again to be shown to your animation supervisor or director, and once approved we can switch those curves to bezier and start to clean up all the movements. Depending on how good and defined your blocking plus was, you will have more or less work to do now, but if you spent enough time, now it's just a matter of keep adjusting and polishing your animation until it's finished. 
it's highly recommended to work in sections of about 40 frames, so it's easier for you to spot things to fix, and even more highly recommended to create motion paths or motion trails for every part of the body, and so making sure that the spacing and arcs are fluid. But remember to start polishing from the hips at worst, since any subsequent adjustments would mess up whatever you had previously polished. Congrats animation finished! Now to the next one!